Okay, I can shoot. I'm not really sure if there is an arrow drop. I've never shot a bow here in this game, so I don't know how it's gonna work. But I... Let's try to shoot it like this. I got a bear once! I got him once! You guys told me that they maybe can't really climb. But maybe this bear is gonna be able to climb. Shut your mouth! What's up, guys? It is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to the Infected. So today we're gonna be finishing up this anvil because all it requires is just one extra iron ingot. And in the previous episode, I learned how to get iron. So all we have to do is just smell the stones and that's it. So I'm gonna take all of these iron fragments. I'm gonna start cooking them into iron. And also, thank you for the tips. A lot of you told me that I can click Alt and use my right mouse button to transfer items. So just like this, I can open up a chest and drop these rocks where they click of a button that's so useful so thank you guys for all your tips and another thing i didn't really see that myself but a lot of you kept pointing out that you can build a shelter so when i go to the crafting menu there are placeables i go to others and there is this shelter so we can place a shelter to protect my water thingy and that's what we are gonna do also there was a very big brain comment somebody told me to just craft a simple fireplace close to the water so that i don't have to keep running to the cabin and that's just like the biggest big brain idea that i've seen what is this guy doing here? Okay, I'm gonna get my spear. I mean, there's only one of them. Why did he even spawn? I mean, we're gonna be able to kill him pretty easily. Okay, one shot, another shot, and another shot. Is he dead? Here we go, he's dead. He is dead. You guys told me that they're quite easy to deal with as you can just stun them and that's it. I mean, you attack them with that spear and they just get stunned. Also, with G button, you can turn on your health and your stamina in the down right corner, just like this. Boom, bop, boom, bop. It's so awesome. So thank you for those tips as well. I'm just quickly gonna check around so that there are no more other vambies. All right, so let's harvest this. So today's goal, as I said, to finish the anvil and probably upgrade the base. Also, let's try to get some firewood from this place because it looks like I ran out of firewood in these furnaces. So let's add a little bit of firewood. For some reason, I had two iron ores. I'm not sure how did I get those two iron ores. But they just were in my inventory. I don't know how I had them. So I'll probably be able to move this campfire. I have to click on N. And yes, indeed, we can move it. I'm going to move it, as I said, closer to the water place. As that's like the biggest big brain idea I've heard <laughs> in a long time. So let's build a campfire over here. We'll also have a couple of cucumbers. So I might eat them. I might eat my watermelons. I'm not really sure if this food can break. If it can spoil or something. But whatever, I have some water in my flask already. And just look at how quickly now we can fill my inventory. Not the inventory but the dirty water look at this beam i opened my inventory once again and just like that that's seriously the biggest big brain comment that i've seen my mind was blown when somebody said that why didn't i think of that i was like hey i have to move the entire base but i just didn't think that i can <laughs> move that fireplace and that's it All right so i'm gonna chop down the tree here i'm gonna get a little bit of firewood so let's get that precious firewood and let's start the fire here we go we're gonna start the fire now my water is going to cook and while the water is cooking, I think we can go and finish the anvil because look at this here We're gonna get two iron ingots. So let's take them and I would always love to keep my fire going I think that would be a very big brain idea. So let's try to finish the anvil Let's add materials. Wait, I have an iron ingot. Oh Developers probably changed something with it because there was an update today and look at this now It says nine out of five. So probably that's why we can't finish it. They reduced the amount of iron ingots needed for this anvil. So probably I need to remove it. And I'll be able to get those iron ingots back to my inventory. And we'll have to craft another anvil. Perhaps that's what happened. That's the only explanation that I know. They reduced the amount of iron ingots needed. That gets Ike's approval. Let's craft this anvil then. Here we're gonna put the anvil. Gonna add all the resources needed for it. Let's take all my iron. It, at least it didn't get wasted, you know? If you craft something and you remove it, you get back all of the resources. So let's add this. That's it. We crafted an anvil. So what do I do on the anvil, though? Do I just drop, let's say, an iron ingot and I'm gonna get nails? You get 10 nails per one iron ingot. This is insane. I can probably finish this workbench. Yes, let's add 10 nails. Whoa, <laughs> we finished the workbench, dude. So what can I craft on the workbench? We could probably craft a bow. So yeah, that's my goal right now, to craft a bow. I'm gonna drop all my iron ingots somewhere else. But first of all, let's go. Let's get this uh, watermelon. And probably I should even eat it. Maybe I should keep it in my inventory. Doesn't matter, I'll eat it. Because I like watermelons. I like my fish. I like everything. Oh, there is the guy. At least he screamed, you know? At least I was able to see him. Where is my spear? I don't have my spear. I probably broke. Well, I'm just gonna fight him with my axe then. I have no idea how many shots it will require to kill him. I mean, yeah, you can fight them with your axe, too. 
but spear is probably better. Oh, I know where I've gotten those iron ingots from. Not even iron ingots, but iron fragments or just iron ores. Ju I killed the first Vambi here and that's how I got the iron. Except this zombie just dropped me probably copper ingots or something. I don't know what he dropped me, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna drop all of these iron ingots in the chest because I seriously do not need them now. I could probably craft even another chest, which I'm gonna do probably a bit in the future. So now we've unlocked lots of new recipes. But before I start exploring those new recipes, let's fire up the furnace. Because I'm pretty sure it will be useful. Maybe I should even move my workbench somewhere to the base. This way I won't get attacked here. And I'll be able to work at the base. But it doesn't matter. For now it is what it is. So to craft the bow, just need one stick and three rope. To craft rope, I require pl two plant fibers. And it looks like you can only craft that at the workbench. Correct? Here, let's add this. I crafted one rope. Can I craft more rope? Nope. You can only craft them one by one like this. So two rope. Unless there is another way to craft rope. But so far that's the only way of how I know how to craft that rope. So I just need one stick now. And I should have lots of sticks over here. I can even probably use sticks as fuel too. I don't only have to use my firewood. But let's add this stick. Let's add three ropes. And we can craft my first ever bow. So now probably bow is gonna be on number three. <laughs> we got the bow! This is beautiful! Except I need to craft my stick now. Maybe I should even craft an iron stick. But it doesn't really look like there is an iron spear. Oh, you can even craft a katana. One stick and one iron ingot to craft a katana. Dude, one stick and one iron ingot. That's like nothing. So I should have an iron ingot. Let's take this iron ingot with me. And let's get one stick and let's craft a katana. I don't really know why the recipe for katana is so cheap. It feels even illegal to craft it, but we are gonna craft it. I'm not sure if it's better than a spear though. Maybe it's not that good. Here go, let's add this and we can craft... Oh no, it's not the katana then. I got bamboozled. Oh, you can craft it on an anvil. Okay, so let's add this. Let's add a stick and here we go. We just crafted a katana. So now it's gonna be on item four probably. Here we go, I have a katana. Kind of sad that I don't hear any sounds when I'm swinging it, but doesn't matter. Maybe it does more damage. I hope so, it does, but it does more damage. Now, we also need to craft a quiver. To craft a quiver, I need two animal hides and rope. That's pretty easy. And to craft bone arrows, which are better, apparently, than stone arrows. So I just need to get bone shards, and I would assume that you can craft bone shards <laughs> from bones, right? I have only one bone at the base, sadly. All right, so let's try to craft those bone shards. Oh, you can't craft them here. Maybe you need to craft bone shards on the workbench. Nope. On the advanced workbench. Where do I get an advanced workbench? I mean, I have the recipe. Oh, here we go. There's the advanced workbench. I have it. So I just need planks, iron ingots. So yeah, probably I'm just gonna craft this advanced workbench over here. Now I just need two copper ingots. Two iron ingots and ten planks, which is super easy. Let's start getting a little bit of planks so we'll be able to craft this advanced workbench. And I think on that advanced workbench, yeah, we can craft those bone shards. Meanwhile, let's get two iron ingots. And I have a copper ingot. Maybe I should have some copper ore here. I have a little bit of copper ore. So I can even smell this copper ore now. Oh no, I just heard a Vambi! I just heard a Vambi outside of this base! What is he doing? He's destroying my base. Oh, I can even attack them from over here. That's kind of cool. Isn't it? Die schmuck. That's it, I was able to kill that Vambi. I'm not sure why they are attacking me so often now. Is that normal? Is that normal? I mean, I'm on day five. I've never seen those Vambies before close to my base, but now they just keep coming here. So we can also start crafting a wooden fence, which I think is gonna be super worth it. So also, another thing that I just discovered, that they've added caves in the game. So I have a cave very close to me. Are we gonna explore it? I think so. We just need to probably craft a torch. I'd also love to get a couple of arrows, which... Hey, let's try to get them. I also think we have a copper bar here. Let's get this copper bar. And I think my advanced workbench is gonna be done. Yes, indeed, we finished my advanced workbench. So can I drop bones now? And yes, we can get shards from bones. So I think I can even discard my other workbench, maybe. But I'm gonna keep both of them for now here. So I'm gonna probably start upgrading my base. And it looks like it's gonna start raining soon. And there's a boar! So what if I go and try to fight that boar? I don't think it's gonna attack me. So what if I just try to fight him with my katana, huh? Okay, die, stupid boar! Okay, it attacked me. The boar attacked me. I got some sort of an infection! Die, schmuck! How did I get that infection? How do I heal myself? For my leg, what if I just drop a bandage? It doesn't work. How did I get an infection? How do I treat my infection? I got everything I needed from the boar. But how do I treat an infection? So now I'm thinking, is that even a good idea for me to continue playing like this? Is there a way to craft a med kit? Maybe. Well, I will probably craft one extra storage. I'll keep an eye on my health, 
And hopefully I don't die from that infection. Maybe it's just gonna go away. Well, just in case I have this uh, medical kit, maybe it's gonna help me out. I just heard a zam zam! Okay, get, let's get rid of this and let's fight the schmuck. Oh my goodness, don't you dare to attack me! Die schmuck! Okay, that's it, they're dead. At least they're quite easy to deal with. And yeah, my health keeps dropping. I'm at 40 health already. Okay, so there is a medical bandage. I think, yeah, my thingy ran out of wood. But yeah, there is a medical bandage. And it says that it's gonna treat all my infections. So I just need tallow, plant fiber, and one mushroom. Where do I get mushrooms? A mushroom, dude, a freaking mushroom. I have no mushrooms. Well, maybe I'm just gonna use that first aid kit. Maybe it's gonna heal all my injuries. Let's, let's use it. Please tell me it's gonna heal my, oh no, it didn't heal anything. Okay, mushrooms found in caves. Okay, so we're gonna go to a cave right now. Am I gonna save the game? Yes, let's save the game. I'm gonna clear my inventory and that's it. We are running to a cave. I would just love to upgrade my base a bit. I'd love to craft a second floor. Yes, no. Are these stairs cool? Yes, these stairs are cool. Let's craft them, I like them. So let's add all of the planks that I got. Let's just add some wooden locks and we'll skedaddle from this place. Because if I want to survive, I gotta move quick. All right, that's it, I'm right into a cave. Sayonara base, we'll come back here and we'll finish this thing. Then I'll get my quiver, we'll get the bow. There's still so many things to do for us. And do I need to drink? I mean, let's quickly check on that. I mean, I'm kind of thirsty. I see a wolf, wait. What is this? This is like the whatever, dude, I forgot their name. They're so cool. I saw a wolf that's probably gonna attack me and that guy, I forgot their name. That's like a badger. I don't know, probably. Also, I could deal with that wolf, but I don't have the time for it. What have happened with my base? <laughs> what have happened to this place? Everybody just keeps spawning around me. Now, let's go into the cave. Hopefully, there's nothing there. I mean, I'm gonna save one more time in case if I die. We can just always reload. Oh, I see the cave. I see the cave. Was it always there? Except my game also saves every 15 minutes automatically. I probably should turn that off, but... Hey, it doesn't matter. It is dark. It is dark there. I mean, my health doesn't drop down, so maybe it's because I used that first aid kit and it actually healed my infection. Okay, so to craft a torch, I need a stick and five plant fibers. So, so one, two, three, four, five plant fibers, right? Here you go, five plant fibers. Let's craft a torch. I probably don't have space. I can't even craft it because I don't have space in my bag. I have a bow. I have everything. I can't craft a torch. So I just dropped a bow here, but apparently I can't really place it in a chest. Well, hopefully that bow doesn't disappear. Probably it will. Well, let's say it's time to explore the cave because I crafted that torch. Sleds up and in case something happens, I'm just gonna switch quickly to my katana and that's it. So let's go. Already found some mushrooms. I don't need anything else. Let's harvest them. How many mushrooms do I get? Do I need to go deeper? Perhaps. I get two mushrooms. Okay, cool. So I'll be able to craft that medical bandage that's gonna treat my infections. I'm gonna gather more shrooms though. Yes, harvest them, baby. Take everything. Why this is so complicated? Look at this cave. I'm already lost. I'm scared to go there. I'm not gonna lie. And you can't even mark the way. You'll get lost here so easily. This, it's even easier to get lost here than in Minecraft caves. Unless all of these caves are gonna lead to the same position. Which I kind of doubt. Okay, so there are these uh, nodes that we could maybe destroy with my pickaxe. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm gonna explore everything. If I die, I get lost. I'll always uh, be able to reload. I'm already ready to see those Vambies here, as obviously they gotta be here. What else can we find here besides Vambies, right? Some other monsters? I have no idea. Also, I don't think there are any guns in the game. Not like I don't think, but I'm really certain that <laughs> there aren't any guns. So probably a bow is the best I can have. Well, it looks like this cave has lots of passages, but probably you can only go straight. When I'm walking, I thought that I heard something, but that's just that's just probably me. Okay, let's get more of those mushrooms. And my health is still at 100, so it doesn't drop. Doesn't matter that I have a little bit of an infection. It's all good for my guy. Do I go further? Probably, I, I have to. This is scary, dude. Did they add those caves, like, in the recent update, or were they always here? I have no idea. I'm just gonna get now my pickaxe, and I'll try to smash this rock. I wanna see if I can get any iron or copper here. What can I get from this place? Okay, what uh, lead or an iron ore? That's good. You know what, that's quite good. That's good stuff. We can get actually good stuff in this cave. I just really wanna exp 
explore it fully. Okay, no more mushrooms here. Yes, more mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms. We can craft like tons of these medical bandages then. And I'll be able to fight whatever I want. And I'll just heal with those medical bandages then. Kind of sad that I need to click my right mouse button to take those mushrooms. I can't just click E to pick them up. But hey, it is what it is. I'm not running because I just don't want to run into some sort of a zombie. AKA Vambi. But so far it's super quiet. I've been walking now here for quite a bit of time. And I haven't seen anything. Okay, that's the dead end. I just found mushrooms growing on the walls. Wait. Maybe I've already missed a few mushrooms then. Doesn't matter. I don't need uh, millions of those mushrooms. Okay, let's harvest this and where am I? Okay, I'm still in the cave though. I am still in the cave. Why do I need lead ore then? Maybe there are guns. Maybe you can craft bullets with that lead. Maybe you can do something else with, the, with lead. I don't know, man. Okay, more mushrooms. Let's collect them, baby. And I think that's the end of the cave. And this is it. Oh no, it's not the end. Here we go. We can go a bit further. I mean, soon I'm not gonna be able to carry probably those mushrooms, but it, they don't weigh a lot. I mean, can I jump through this? Yes. All right, that's a weird place. I'm not going there. I'll just move forward. Where are the monsters? Where are they? I don't really know if there's anything more dangerous in this in this game than those vambies. I mean, probably a bear. But I mean, I don't think there are any other like some weird monsters. I think that's it. I reached the end of the cave. I just heard a goat and my heart almost stopped. Stupid goat. Imagine having an infected goat that still sounds like a goat, but yet it can attack you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is get back my probably pickaxe and I'll try to shred this stone. Will I get again lead? And I'm interested if resources keep respawning here. Probably they keep respawning. Let's get this. I'm gonna get iron ore and a little bit of lead ore. Uh, my guy's gonna be super encumbered soon. We've gotten like lots of mushrooms, 36 mushrooms. So I could get more lead ore and other stuff, but probably I'll just get back to the base. So I'll keep running. Let's craft those medical bandages. If I'm gonna find my way out of this place now, because everywhere I go, I just reach a dead end. You know what? This cave was kind of cool. Would I want to see enemies here? Probably not. Probably, I mean, enemies would add more immersion to the game. I mean, it's easier without enemies. So obviously I'm gonna say that I'd prefer to have no enemies. <laughs> but I think they should be here. As I mean, a cave is always dangerous. And probably in every game that I know, caves were always super incredibly dangerous. I just heard a wolf, but probably that's just on the- Oh no, that's not on the top of the cave. Here goes stupid wolfo! Die schmuck! You die schmuck! Shut your mouth! I mean the katana is garbage. I'll actually better craft something else than that katana. Can I still run? Yes, I still can run and I need to probably heal up myself. I need to heal that stuff here. Go, let's use a bandage beam. Beautiful. So that wolf was inside of the cave. It spawned here. That's it, we are out. We are out of the cave and what time is it now? It's only, okay, 7 p.m. So it's still not super evening, but soon we'll have to go to sleep sleep. And I think before we sleep, I definitely have to replenish my proteins, thirst and other stuff. But as I said before this, let's craft like that medical bandage. Oh, and my uh, archer bow didn't disappear because I didn't have space for my torch, so I dropped it here. So to get tallow, I just need uh, fat, and I have a little bit of fat in some of these chests. So here we go, let's get a little bit of tallow. I think we can craft it on a workbench. Maybe we can even craft it on this advanced workbench now. I mean, let's try it out. Okay, on advanced workbench, I can't do that, but probably I can do it on the simple workbench, yeah. So that means we need all of these workbenches, all right. I'm gonna craft a bit more tallow. Here we go, crafted a lot of it. Now, I just need some plant fibers and mushrooms to craft those bandages. Let's drop some mushrooms. Okay, so five plant fibers, one mushroom, and one tallow. One tallow and uh, one mushroom. Let's just add one mushroom. That's it, we can craft this medical bandage. So let's try to use this medical bandage right now. Where is it? I have it. Let's treat this. And just like that, my infection is gone. Big brain, happy psych, we healed. I love that this game has this itempedia. Without itempedia, I wouldn't know what this game has and there's no way anyone would know that. So it's so cool that developers added uh, itempedia to the game. It just basically saved my life here. So I'm gonna craft a few more of those medical bandages because I'm pretty sure they'll be useful in the future. I just don't really know how to split five items at the same time, so I have to split them one by one. So maybe there is a way to do that, then please let me know, but I don't think there is a way on how to split five by five. Oh, there's another Vambi. There's another stupid Vambi. Well, I'm just gonna put him to sleep sleep. Shut your mouth, stupid Vambi. Here you go, they just get stunned and die schmucks, that's it. 
They're so loud when they die. Oh, I just got medical bandages from them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was searching for those bandages for forever and a little bit. And I just got them like that. I don't really know how to store your items. And to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of this katana. So I'll just probably drop it on the ground and I'll craft the spear. I preferred the spear, to be honest. It felt better. It felt like I have some reach. Katana doesn't seem like it has any reach and it doesn't do more damage. Oh, I can poke with it. Maybe I can even fish with that. Okay, so I'll try to poke then instead of attacking. I had no idea that you can poke. Well, I'll try to fish with Katana. Can I do it? Can I do it? There's a wolf. No, there was a goat underwater. Okay, underwater goat. All right, so sadly you cannot fish with a katana unless I failed all of those times. But yeah, I don't think you can cook with a katana. Well, let's say I try to craft my spear and I try to go fishing. But when you go underwater during the dark, you don't see anything. Surprise, surprise. So let's go to sleep now. That's the only thing that we've got left to do. So let's sleep until 6 a.m. 4, 5, and 6. Here, go done. I slept till 7 a.m. So that it's a bit brighter. And you know what? Maybe I should upgrade the base. What do you think about that? I'm not gonna craft a massive base, but let's just do this. I don't really know how many resources I'll require to repair it. I mean, wooden logs and rope, which isn't that hard to get. So I'll probably just chop down a bunch of trees and I'll try to upgrade this base a bit. So here we go. Now we have the second floor, except I can't jump out with those logs. So hey, I can go to the second floor now. And when I'm gonna craft that quiver, which I should do right now, because I have enough animal hides. I'll be able to shoot those vambies with my bow. I'm not really sure if that's a good strat, but hey, it is something. So I just need two animal fibers and two ropes. So let's get outside. Let's craft now two ropes. Here we go. So here we go. We got one rope and let's add another rope. So now let's combine rope with this and we're gonna have a quiver. That's it. I just got a quiver. I don't really know where is it. Oh, I can see it here. So I can now drag probably arrows there. Beautiful. I need feathers, sticks, rope, and bone shards. Feathers, sticks, ropes, and bone shards. I should have a little bit of sticks and a little bit of feathers. So here I'm gonna harvest a couple of sticks and let's try to craft my first uh, few arrows. Let's see how they're gonna work. Do I craft them here on the workbench? But it says I don't really have to craft them on the workbench. Whatever, let's add this. Obviously, it's probably not gonna work now because I need to drag those items probably one by one. So rope, sticks... Feathers and bone shards. That's it. I was able to craft one arrow. Only one arrow, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I just heard that dude. Is it gonna attack me now? Well, I got a spear. Can I go here? Will those vambies jump up? They can jump up! They can jump up. But look at how better the spear is. The spear is, like, so much better. Spear is, like, a million times better. Well, I'm gonna finish crafting this arrow then. Here we go, let's craft a second arrow and probably I can drag these arrows in my quiver. Beautiful. And my guy has a headache. Why? Because probably, yeah, he's thirsty. Well, no worries, I got some water here. I also have some more water in this place. I could probably even craft that shelter. So maybe let's try to craft the shelter then. I just need like four wooden logs and that's it. Like that's a sin not to craft that. Let's say I got three logs. I just need one extra log. It's also cool that in this game, it doesn't take 84 years to chop down a tree. Like it's so fast to chop it down. It gets our like, approval. Let's drop this. And now I can start fire whenever I want because we go a shelter. Just look at this beauty. This is awesome. So I just realized that that will be a lot of chopping down wood to craft a fence around my house. But I, hey, I'm committed to do that. <laughs> Let's try to do it. I just need to craft a bunch of rope. And it looks like you can also craft rope in bulk. So here you go. Bulk items and you can place 10, 20 or 50 fibers. And you'll be able to craft that stuff in bulk. And I have 49 fibers. So I just need to chop down one more tree and I'll get a bunch of fiber. And then we're going to be able to craft an insane amount of rope. So here we go. Now we're going to craft a bunch of rope. And that was 25 rope. So let's add this. Boom. One fence. And the second fence. So yeah, the base gets better and better. Little by little. Here I go. I crafted the third fence. This is so cool. Like building in this game isn't super hard. That's why I want to build. Like I've played lots of games. Lots of survival <laughs> games as you already know. And I'm not really a big fan of building. Like for example in Scum. Scum is a fantastic survival game. But I just don't like building there. It's like it's too hard. It takes forever and a little bit to build anything there. Buildings aren't really super customizable. And I'm just like eh. But here it's quite interesting to build. It's not too hard. I'm also sick and tired of chopping down these trees with my stone axe. So you know what? Let's craft an iron axe. But hey, before this, let's get those last couple of logs. Maybe we're even going to finish this. Yes, we finished it. Beautiful. 
So at the same time, I'm gonna get some more planks. And let's hide ourselves in the base. I need to finish this chest. Yeah, yeah, totally. And also, you can get a bigger backpack. But for that, you're required to kill a crocodile. Because I assume, look at this large backpack. And I require eight crocodile skin. Also, you guys told me that there are swamps. And I've seen some more screenshots. So there are different biomes in the game. I just heard a Vambi. I just heard a stupid Vambi. Let's close this. Oh my goodness! How did you get here, you schmuck? I love the spear. I love the spear. Spear is awesome. Spear is awesome. I'm interested if these Vambies can jump through this fence. I need to be able to get to the top from my base. That would be very useful. And yeah, the question what I wanted to ask you guys. Is it possible to somehow store your weapons? Because I can't really take them from my inventory. When I try to open up a chest, look at this. I can't access my weapons. I can't drop them in the chest. You can't store your weapons in chest. That's weird. Here go one more plank and bada beam. We have a second chest. A third chest even. So yeah, my guy has a headache or whatever that is. Looks like we need to fish once again. And some people told me that you can just transfer fish to your inventory, but that's not gonna work because you need to harvest it. So you need to drop it on the floor and then you need to harvest it. Because look at this, if I'm gonna pick this fish up, it just says obtained by catching it in lakes and ponds. Must drop it on the ground and harvest to get raw fish. So you have to drop it on the ground, then you have to harvest it. You get raw fish and then you place that raw fish around the campfire. So let's start the fire. And I think meanwhile we can go and catch some more fish. Maybe I should get more food. So that I don't have to bother about eating every five seconds and catching food. But I mean, it's kind of fun to catch food. Wait, there's a different fish. I mean, even though it looks different, but all these fish are the same. <laughs> oh, this is tuna. So this is a different fish. Oh yeah, this is a different fish. All right, let's harvest it. And we're gonna eat some tuna. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I got some more protein. So my guy no longer has that headache. It's so weird. These mushrooms are gonna give you 10 health. So these mushrooms are quite OP. I see a bear. Um... All right. Could I get a bow, perhaps? Let's hop inside of the base. Let's drop this katana that I have on me. Where is it? Here we go. Let's drop this katana. Let's get a bow. I'm not sure if the bear will be able to get here. Probably it will. Okay, I can shoot. I'm not really sure if there is an arrow drop. I've never shot a bow here in this game, so I don't know how it's gonna work. But I... Let's try to shoot it like this. I got a bear once. I got him once. You guys told me that they maybe can't really climb. But maybe this bear is gonna be able to climb. Shut your mouth! So he's destroying some stuff. What's going on with the stupid bear? More shots! Die, schmuck! Dead! Dead. Can I get back my arrow? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. Let's harvest the bear. We did it! We killed the bear. We got insane amount of meat. Boy, I love it. We got plus animal hide. And how much meat did I get from the bear? I mean, not that much, to be honest. Bear didn't really drop lots of good stuff. <laughs> he dropped nothing, except I need to heal myself because, yeah, my left leg is kind of broken. So let's use a simple bandage on it. Beam bomb. Beautiful. So I'm gonna drop animal hide, some bones, and animal fat, and that's it. So I'm not really sure if even if arrows are good then. Maybe they are. Whatever, let's harvest this corn plant. And we need to start growing some food! Yes, we have to do that. But this schmuck was destroying my fence and I need a hammer to repair it. So let's craft a stone hammer. But how everything's gonna fit in my inventory? Can someone help me out with that? So I want to expand my base and craft a double door. Actually, I'm gonna craft a 2x2 two two cabin. So let's chop down a couple of trees. There are so many things I need to do. I need to craft an iron axe and I still don't have the time for it. That stupid badger keeps running and I just heard a... Drop the log. Get the spear and... Where is that Vambi? Where is the stupid Vambi? Oh my goodness, Mamma Mia Pizzeria, my heart! Uh, my spear broke. Well, I got my axe. Look at this dude. Look at this... Dude! Well, I'm gonna get my bow then. What is going on with this dude? How are you still alive? Let's say you're finally dead. What was going on? I've never seen a flying Vambi before. <laughs> but they can jump up! I got scared and you know what? I like that. Every time I get scared in the game, I kind of like that. <laughs> it gives me that feeling of being alive. That's it, I crafted uh, one foundation. We're just gonna craft another one. We need to chop down a bunch of trees. Is there a way to chop down trees faster? Yeah, probably there is a faster way to chop them down with an iron axe. And it looks like I know what to do. To be faster with logs, you have to keep one log in your inventory. This way, your guy doesn't have that animation of picking up logs, so it's just a lot faster. Especially when these logs are close to your base. Obviously, when they're further away, it's probably better to keep, pick, pick them up three by three. 
But when they're kind of close, it's better to take the two by two. Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna craft a door here. I'm gonna craft a few windows. I don't see a reason why not to craft windows. Everything is gonna be with windows right now. But it's like, what about Max? I have a Mac. Cool, Max are cool too, but we are building windows today. Please laugh for my jokes. So let's craft an axe. To craft an uh, iron axe, I need iron ingot. Three iron ingots. I should have them. Let's search for those three iron ingots. One, two, three. Is that it? Just three iron ingots and I can craft that? I probably have to craft it on an anvil, I assume. So let's add beam bomb. Let's craft iron axe head. And I just need one stick. Here go. There's a stick. That's gonna be my axe. <laughs> With this stick. Let's add this beam bomb. Uh, probably I need to craft it where? On advanced workbench. So it's so cool that we've gotten this advanced workbench in the previous episode. Here I got crafted an axe. And now it's on number three because my spear broke. I just heard a wolf owl. So I'm gonna get rid of my old axe because I don't want to play with it anymore. Or maybe I'll use a katana for now. I don't have the time to craft that axe. I mean, I can use a katana to poke stuff. It's Yeah, you can poke with it quite fast too if you don't swing it like that. I don't know. So let's try to chop down the, those trees. Let's see how long we're gonna chop them down with this iron axe. Ooh, this is OP! Two hits and this small tree falls down before we required like four hits. So it's 50% faster. Dude, we're gonna upgrade our base like crazy. That's like insane sick update. Except I need to save. Let's save. Let's save the game. We're gonna chop down these big trees like this. This is nuts. And now look at what I can do. As I said, we're gonna pick up those logs and I'm not gonna drop all of them. I'll just keep two of them on my back. So this way I can just drop two here. And super quickly I can take two extra logs. And this way I can add them to whatever place. This is gonna be insanely fast, dude. We're gonna craft insane base. Finally making some sick progress. After that, we're obviously gonna play these workbenches properly. I mean, I just keep them there for now. Except I'm running out of stamina. It's kind of fun even if you have like those three logs on your back. You still can restore your stamina. <laughs> That's cool. We're gonna get insane amount of planks. And look at this. I accidentally dropped three logs and look at how long it takes us to... I mean, maybe it's not that long to take that third log. Maybe I'm just imagining. But I still think it's faster to just have one log on your back all the time. So I just need two extra planks. Let's get them. One, two planks. Let's add them over here. Beautiful. Now our base is going to be a bit bigger. I'm probably going to remove this wall. Oh no, there's the guy attacking me again. Well, let's get my thing. What are you doing, schmuck? What is going on? How did I, he attack me even? Schmuck, die. Katana is so weird, not gonna lie. Is there a better weapon than Katana? Probably Spear is the best. I honestly feel like Spear is the best. I got damaged, but at least I have those bandages so I can heal my both arms now. Oh, that's a lot better. Let's craft a door. Here you go, wooden door. We're gonna place it, I don't know where, here. I just need eight planks, which should be quite easy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just like that, we're gonna finish the door. And somebody told me that you shouldn't craft like that ramp here, otherwise bears can come inside. I'm not really sure if that's the truth or not. So to craft the ceiling, I just need a couple of logs and planks, which is gonna be quite easy. Let's get them. So let's add two last planks. One, two. And bada beam, we've got a ceiling, mate. We've got a ceiling. So do I keep this door? It's gonna be like double base, that's where is my loot, but is it really worth it? I mean, I could keep it like this, at least for now, then we can remove it. I mean, you can always remove that wall and you'll get your resources back, so whatever. Oh, I forgot that you can vine, you can click on F. I didn't even know that actually, it's not like I forgot about it. But when you click on F, you can see all the stats without opening your backpack and everything, that's so cool. That saves hours of time. I mean, with this trick, I seriously saved hours and hours of time. <laughs> from running back to the base trying to get the water. This is so ridiculously fast now. And just look at our awesome base, except that... Oh, here we go. There's our base. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really awesome. It's a great base. You can't deny it. I'm just gonna move my stuff in front of it too so that, hey, I can flex with the items that I got. I want to place here a few shelters just because I think they look awesome. So here we go. Over here, I can place one shelter. Let's just add a few wooden logs there. And on my way, I found the watermelon. Obviously, we're gonna take it. And I think it's gonna start raining again soon. I don't like that. All right, so let's finish this thing up. Beam bomb. Look at how beautiful that is. This is what I'm talking about. This is our base, baby. Now I'm gonna move my anvil here and both of these workbenches. Here go one workbench and my second workbench. It doesn't look that beautiful. It is what it is. <laughs> I thought it would look cool, but 
whatever. I might just remove this shack and place it somewhere else on another side. I think on another side it will look better. Or maybe we're not even gonna build that shack at all. Oh, there's the zombie. What is that schmuck doing over here? Huh? What if I just attack one? I probably just missed one arrow. Alright. Oh, I just got a headshot on him! I just got a headshot on the zombie and it died! Okay, where is my another arrow though? I probably lost it. Yeah, I lost it forever. Rest in peace, arrow. All right, there's this badger that keeps running everywhere. Can I even get him? Perhaps. Well, doesn't matter. Stay alive for now, badger. Maybe it would also be cool to have a campfire close to the base. So I'm gonna craft this shelter. Yeah, the base looks better with that. And let's craft a campfire just for the memes. Here we go, there is a campfire and we're gonna place it over here. Let's just add some firewood, stones, and that's it. Alright, so I also thought, what if we're gonna craft an iron pickaxe? Alright, so for the iron pickaxe, I require only two iron ingots and probably just a stick. Yeah, let's get two iron ingots, I should have them. One iron ingot, do I have another one? Oh, no, I don't. Alright, can I use planks as fuel? What if I'm gonna drop these planks here? Oh, no, they don't work as fuel. So I'm just gonna smash now some sort of a simple rock with my old stone pickaxe. It's old, but it still works. Let's get couple of these small stones because I want to finish that fireplace and finally stop raining but I think it's evening yeah it's 8 49 p.m. yikes and just like that we finished the fireplace look at this it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be beautiful we're gonna light it up and it's like Mwah. also if I'm not mistaken it is possible to maybe upgrade your base to like stones or something because look at this there's upgrade tool can be crafted on the workbench used to upgrade constructions just one stick and one iron ingot and then stone hammer. Used to repair constructions. Okay, so one stick, small stone, and rope. Well, first of all, let's craft an iron pickaxe on this anvil. Gonna add two of those. Uh, iron pickaxe head. All I need is just a stick. Oh, it just was just lying around so close to us. Let's go here and let's craft this iron thingy. Beam. Iron pickaxe. Oh, it doesn't fit in my backpack. So we're gonna throw away my old one. Sayonara, old pickaxe. I don't want to play with you anymore. Let's craft a new one. So here we go. There's a rock. And let's try to smash it. One, two, three hits. And that's it. We just smashed this entire rock. This thing gets IX approval. Now it's much easier and faster to gather resources. Oh no, I just heard a zom zom. This is not cool. So I'm just going to drop now a bunch of stones because they will start destroying my base. Where is that stupid zombie? Okay, let's go outside. They are destroying my base, those schmucks. Where are you? I'll just gotta keep running because I don't see it. <gasps> oh, here we go. That's where you are, you schmuck. Die! Here, I'm gonna poke you now. Stupid zombie. Here we go. Let's harvest him now. Okay, that zombie scared me once again. He keeps destroying my base. Why did they do that? What my poor base has done to them. So let's now craft either... I know it's dark, but let's craft that either upgrade tool... Or whatever that is. This and a little bit of rope and we're gonna get a stone hammer. Except it doesn't fit in my inventory again. How on earth are you supposed to keep all those tools? Well, let's go to sleep because it's quite dark now. And my guy is thirsty. And hungry. And everything. Well, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night just to drink. Because I should have some water with me. Oh, no, I don't. I have some watermelons, though. Let's go to sleep, sleep. We should survive. I'm gonna wake up around 7 a.m. That's good. Here we go, bright. Everything I would ever want. Or that's a stone hammer. I don't even know what that is. Hey, let's craft it. Just a simple stone hammer. It's gonna be on my number... No, one. No, three. Here we go. So what was it, the zombies I'm destroying? How do I repair it? Okay, repair it with one plank. I'm gonna get this. I, I got no space. All right, so let's get one plank. And let's try to repair it. I just repaired it with one plank. Beautiful. And this thing requires a lot of planks. Four planks to repair. Two, three, four. So let's repair my base. I guess that's cool. And to repair the fence, I require a plank as well. So they do a lot of damage. You'll require a lot of planks to keep repairing your base all the time. All right, I'm gonna drop my hammer over here because I really don't need it for now. And as I said, let's craft that upgrade tool to see how it works. I need just one stick and one iron ingot. We should have those iron ingots. Somewhere in one of those chests here go. An iron ingot and a stick. Let's craft it, baby. Let's add this. Let's add a stick. Let's craft this upgrade tool. And let's see how it works. So, what do I do? Upgrade brick door frame. Six dry bricks. So I require six bright dry bricks to upgrade my base. What? There's a wolfo. Let's fight him with my katana first of all. 
The stupid wolf holes. How did the attack me die, schmuck? Stupid wolf hole. All right, my guy's gonna get super thirsty soon. And again, I got some sort of an infection. Just because the wolf hole bit me. What a schmuck, am I right? You need to eat a lot every day. Like, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. Like, a lot of food is needed to survive in this game. Okay, so maybe let's use some simple bandages here, go to recover my leg. Here we go. Leg is recovered. <laughs> We're not gonna lose our leg. Oh, there's a weapon rack. There is a weapon rack. Oh no, first of all, this stop. Here, this dude is going to attack me. Okay, attack me, schmuck. Oh my goodness, I can't reach him. Wait, where is my spear when I needed the most? Die, schmuck. Here we go, let's harvest the Vambi. I feel so much better that there is a weapon rack. Like, that's all I ever needed. Let's craft it over here. Yes, 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 yes. There's always something to do in this game. If you don't chop down trees and if you don't mine rocks, you gotta go and cook your water and get food. <laughs> all right, so I think we should have a little bit of iron here. Go, I have one iron ingot. So let's craft a little bit of nails outside of the base. Oh no, I moved my uh, anvil. Anvil is now in front of the base, so let's craft... 10 nails and let's add them to this weapon stand. Oh, this is so cool. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I can keep my katana. This is awesome. This game is even better than I thought. Every day I play it and it just keeps getting better and better. I'm not gonna lie. I'm seriously not gonna lie about it. It's an, it's an awesome game. Like, it's just very intuitive. Like, you gotta agree with me that you can't make anything more simple than this. Look at this. Simple, stupid weapon rack. You click on E. And you just drag an item there, that's it. You drag it, like super stupid simple. That's why this game is so awesome. Not a lot of survival games can be so simple as this one. And that's why I love the infected, not gonna lie. Here we go, now I can store whatever items I want. This is just so awesome. Oh, so wet brick, you just need one clay and one sand. I see it now. So you can get a sand from two small stones. You require a lot of stones then. You'll require a bunch of stuff, dude. Oh no, I see another guy. Do I even have anything in my inventory? I have nothing. I have only my hammer, so let's- I'm gonna use my iron axe then to fight this guy. Okay, one attack, another attack. I don't think it's a really good idea to fight these guys with your iron axe, but hey, it is what it is. So while I'm here, I might as well take my katana. Let's place another workbench over here, and that's a lot better. It's maybe not as beautiful, but it's alright. So we've done lots of progress today, we've learned lots of things, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. And don't forget to check out Go To Sleep March, because we've put some Vambis to sleep today, and hey, you can go to sleep yourself, you can also get a Go To Sleep shirt, or a Go To Sleep hoodie. Link is down in the description. Huge thanks to all of those who've already gotten Psyak March. Thank you for supporting the channel. So I highly suggest you checking out my The Last of Us Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my The Long Dark Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlists, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.